Jeremy. Yeah, hi, how's it going? Uh, not so well, mate. Um, yeah, I'm going to be probably quite a bit longer than we thought uh, originally. Um, I've lost the use of my Forse and my, and my Genoa um, this afternoon as I was going down to fill in the logbook. It was an almighty bang and, um, and my semi fill Genoa was flying at the end of um, Forse to sort of about 45 degrees to the boat. Okay, so you're okay at the moment? Yeah, everything's okay. I've stabilised it. I've got I've got the sail off the full. Yeah. I stowed the sail. Um, I've uh, you know, the the eye on the on the stem plate, um, the the chain plate on the bar, the eye actually broke in half. Um, it, it must have been some fatigue or in crevice fatigue or something there. Um, so there's no way that I can reconnect it, but I've got an outer force day on the end of the bar sprit and I've got an inner force day um, for the stay so And I've got the two spinnaker halyards um, acting as additional force days. So I'm going to limp along. Um, I'm just not going to be very quick and I'm going to have to wait for air conditions and trying to beat into a northeasterly into the finish. Yeah, okay. So, um, okay. So I'll send you some weather reports anyway, but the mast is, uh, it sounds as if it should be still pretty stable, eh? With all that stuff out there. Say that again. Okay. So, uh, with what you've got now to replace your main force day, the mast should be okay by the sound of it. Would you agree? Yes, I think, yeah, the, the mast is incredibly strong. And with the two uh, other four stays, um, I think they're, they're probably, I'm going to be okay. Obviously, I'll, I'll say they very, very slowly. I've got a double reef main uh, with the two running back stays on as well. So together with the inner four stay, they support the rig pretty well. Um, I obviously can't get uh, the old four stay down, so I've had to like tie it off so that it doesn't do too much damage up front. And um, I've, so I've just got a stay sail up and a double reef main, and I won't be pushing into the big sea that I've got here too hard. Yeah, exactly. So the I'll send you a forecast anyway, but basically it's pretty much the same as uh, uh, you've had previously. It's generally a, an east, uh, sorry, a north northeasterly uh, slant, and it's the same process. If you're going west, it'll start to die off. If you go east, it'll start to increase in strength. But it's probably going to, uh, in the next uh, 36 hours, it's uh, in the next 36 hours, it might get a little bit stronger. But anyway, I will uh, send you some forecasts um, uh, tonight, okay? I'll give you some weather tonight. Okay. Um, what would be handy for me is to know how far north I need to go to get around the top of the system. Um, I'm almost making... A northerly heading at the moment. The wind has gone into the east northeast where I am. I can I can almost make a north. I'm just slightly west of north. Um, yeah. I'm carry on along that track. I've got about eighteen to twenty knots of breeze, and you know, obviously, I'll take it easy. Yeah, if yeah. I can get an idea of how far north I need to go to um, to be able to to get around the system. That would be useful. Okay, so at the moment you're on the northeastern edge of the uh, pressure system, okay, and it's not encouraging, but certainly the best course you can take for now is keep going north. Uh, there's no heavy weather coming. Uh, just keep trying to make northing and then eventually you'll be able to come across and, and uh, tack into uh, the Biscay, but I'll give you some routing suggestions as well. Uh, I'll call up the okay. weather and have a look and just... But yeah, generally you've you've still got you know quite a few days of um, what I'd call uh, moderate, well you know just normal winds you know twenty 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 fives. But it's all from the wrong direction, okay? Um, yeah. But certainly for now, the next uh, twenty four hours, the further you go north and the further you go uh, west, it's getting getting less strength. Okay, I'm going to stick in the lighter conditions if I can. Um, you know, yeah. I'm going to keep going yeah, absolutely. West north. And, um, and just until I hopefully run out of the system and come back across. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, hard to describe, but generally the centre of the, the centre of the system that you're 
being influenced by at the moment is about 500 miles to the west of you at the moment. Okay, so it's a long way west. Uh. Yeah, yeah, uh, so it's... Um, okay, well, it's something, it's something to work on. Um, and the other thing I, I'd like to do, tuck into one of my grab bag, it's got all those energy biscuits and things in it. And, um, yeah, not um, a problem. <laughs> just just go for it, yeah. Energy. Yeah, not a yeah. problem. Yeah, just yeah. go for it. I mean, okay. you can uh, do whatever you want to do at the, at the moment, so no problem at all. Okay, okay so what I'd, yeah, what I'd suggest also is uh, whenever you can, you know, if you can increase the tweets, just say all okay uh, every, you know, every 12 hours or so. Don't wake up to do it, but just let us know everything's okay occasionally. Yeah, well, you're the only one who knows if there's anything wrong, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, won't, I won't say anything, um... And you'll be the first to know if, if things escalate. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I can continue cruising along at this um, on this heading. I'm almost getting uh, zero one zero at the moment. Yeah, sure. Campus. Okay. So, All right. So just just I'll to cl- just to clarify, it's your main structural force day at the stem has failed, uh, and you've secured it, and the you've stem, the, the stem fitting. Um, you know, the, where it, it goes over the front of the boat and down the uh, down the power. It's a welded plate, and on top of that um, is an eye drilled through that welded plate, which has been reinforced. And I think possibly during the reinforcing process, there was maybe a crevice introduced in, when welding it, and some there's been some crevice corrosion because it just like it it, it it's in half. Yeah. Okay. There's, and there are no other holes in the in the chain plate that I could attach the four stay to, so it's, there's, there's nowhere else to, to go with it. Okay, but the, the, the section and the reefing gear is just strapped down where it is at the moment sort of thing, but you can't put any sails on it? No, absolutely not. No, yeah, I've, that's I've right. Got, um, yep. two, I've got two uh, soft shackles from my emergency uh, jury rig kit, so that um, if, you know, if, if one of the other four stays goes, uh, I, I, those two will hopefully hold and stop anything from yeah, yeah. being a complete collapse. Yep, no problem. Okay. All right, well, I'll uh, I'll start giving you weather forecasting, um, but for now, yeah, any northing that you can make is ultimately going to put you in a better position, And uh, but there's not yeah. a lot of changes expected in the next uh, three, four days, you know. It's, uh, yeah. it's three, four days, it's all headwinds, so uh, not much fun. I'll just keep going north and if you yeah. can look at the position 400 miles north of where I am now and see what that looks like in three, four days' time, that should be handy. Yeah? yeah, yeah, well, okay. All right, thanks for the call. Good luck with that. There's a lot of people thinking of you, yeah. so uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks. All right, thanks, Jeremy. See you later. Bye bye. Cheers. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, how's it going? Uh, staying in there, um, but I was just wondering if uh, you had an update on whether this, it's pretty, uh, pretty wild out here now, and I'm um, wondering whether I could expect an increase or moderate, um, I think it's going to affect um, the course of action I need to take in the next couple of hours. Yeah, okay, the, basically it's just uh, still hanging in from the northwest, uh, sorry, northeast. And it's not likely to change for a while, but I'll send you a uh, I'll send you a forecast in the next uh, in the next three quarters of an hour, um, and just tell you. But yeah, it's not uh, not so good, but the strength should be dropping uh, slowly. Um, but anyway, yeah, the direction is is more of the same, unfortunately. I'm just pushing it through now. As uh, the wind direction's not changing uh, until uh, jeepers. Uh, it's all northeasterly right through to the 26th. Um, yeah, and, and beyond the 26th, I'll be today. Uh, yeah, the I'm just. Second. Yeah, uh, just hang on a sec. I'm just bouncing it through slowly. Um, you've got uh, there's the 26th, 27th. It's all the same. It's all northeasterly, all in the Bay of Biscay. Uh, nothing changes until about the 29th when it gets a little bit more north in it. Okay, so uh, Jesus. yeah, so if you were, you know, between now and the 29th, uh, there's no point really in tacking. But when you do, you'll be heading back down. Uh, you'll be heading back down southeast. You know, so by going north, 
you know, doing what you're doing now in a couple of days, I'll just step it out, or, you know, making starboard tack and making northing sort of thing, uh, when you, you'll probably end up going right out for another couple of hundred miles in that direction. So you'll be directly to the west of Brest, right? And once you get up there, then you can, you know, you're still going to be tacking, you know, it's, it's, it's really ugly. I mean, it's not big winds, it's all, what you've got now is the strongest you're going to have for some time. Okay, and then it'll back back to like fifteen to twenty knots to the northeast for many days. Okay. I can't believe this. Yeah, no, it's really yeah, uh, really crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be really really short of water. I'm down to like um, half a litre a day. Um, I might have to get the the desalinators out and see if I can make that work. Yeah. You know, okay. I, I simply don't believe this. I've got enough food that's um, that, that's okay, but. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy, eh? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, it, it, is this affecting your your program for closing up the whole race? Or oh no, uh, don't worry about that. It, the the uh, well, the prize giving is on the twenty fourth of June, so make sure you're here for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, there'll there'll always be people here to uh, meet you, <laughs> right? Um, and. Yeah. If you have to use a desalinator, um, it, it's uh, was yours a new one? Was it a new desalinator? No, it was an old one. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I would probably test it sooner rather than later, uh, because if it was a if it was a salvage one, you know, with the membrane over ten years old, there's a possibility that the the seals may pop or the membrane might not work. So uh, it'd be a good idea to test it. So the best way to do it is you obviously need clean salt water. You can do that in a bucket, but when you're pumping it, you'll have um, a salt water outlet. You just let that dribble away. Don't put it back in the in the bucket because it will increase the salinity of the bucket. Um, and once you start using it, you you really need to use it uh, ideally virtually every day or every other day uh, to keep the membrane really clean. Like that, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'd probably test it sooner rather than later in case something goes wrong. You know. Okay. But, but it should give you, in fact, depending on the membrane, it might be an early membrane, which means that it might only give you about 250 mils an hour, okay? If it's a new membrane, uh, new systems are running at about 750 mils an hour. Uh, but if it's an original one, they used to be rated at about 250 mils an hour. Which is about the amount of sweat that you bleed up using that Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah. so how much water have you got now on board, do you reckon? I've got about seven litres. About seven litres. I've got enough for three weeks, you know, if I take it easy. Yeah, have you, got, have you got your emergency water or that is your emergency water? Uh, that's the emergency water. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I had an portion of uh, my reserve water was st- stored in a 20 litre jerry can I bought from Bunnings in Hobart. And unfortunately, the seal leaked on it and it all drained out. All oh, right. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. That's so, a bit of a... Yeah. Yeah, uh, really yeah so... I'll just make it really easy. Yep. Okay. Um, have you got wet food or dry food or what's the story there? Uh, I've got uh, you know, canned food and uh, lots of crystal which I can make with tea water, so... Yeah, um, but I've got quite a, quite a lot of canned canned food, which is all quite wet. I don't have to hydrate anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not a problem. So um, yeah. Well, just I mean, check in whenever you want. Um, but the the weather is pretty much uh, uh, holding for the next you know five or six days. Um, but as you get further north, I mean, you're still climbing to windward. You know what I mean? Um, and you've got no option at the moment. You can basically the rule of thumb here is you can see when you can tack. You know, you'll know when you when you when you're able to tack on the wind direction. And uh, you know, it's it's going to be it's like a trade wind basically. It's there's uh, nothing moving fast at all. You know. Oh, I've lost you there. Westerlies at that latitude, or am I still going to be in there? Uh No, basically, there's that big high is really slow moving and it's heading up towards Ireland, right? So you're in the southeastern quadrant of that, 
Uh, so you're either on the west, on the eastern side of it, or on the southeastern side of it. It's moving very slowly, and uh, that's what's giving the, what's causing the um, northeasterly winds. You know, so uh, until that thing buggers off, uh, it's it's basically holding uh, pretty much that sort of direction for um, you know for another five days or so. You know. So, but anyway, you, 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 you're making progress north, you know, you're making northing, so that's a good thing. And depending on how it goes, uh, yeah. you know, when this, this stronger wind disappears, uh, you're making northing and, yeah, and it's the still... Are, yeah, the conditions are just tough on the boat that hasn't got a, a, a proper force, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, I, I just don't want to, to damage her, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll go and have another look. Yeah. Okay, Don. okay all right. Change, yeah, I will. I will. Don't worry. We're watching yeah. it all the time. So, uh, but it's pretty stable for now. And uh, good luck, eh? Uh, but keep us in the loop. Um, you know, just give us a call every now and then. And uh, you know, this is a good time of the night to call any any time you want. You know, um, and uh, yeah, okay. I'd figure on another week probably. So, uh, yeah. Good luck, eh? Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. See you. Bye bye. Holy shit. Hello, Jeremy. How's it going? Oh, not too bad under the circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can uh, imagine. This is like, it, this is like it almost due west of the Sabla. The wind goes more into the east, so... I know. There's I don't a, know. Yeah, there's a bit more of that the same for the next uh, few days. But anyway, um, so... So what's what's the exact conditions you've got at the moment and what have you got up, you know, sailing-wise? Um, I've got two reefs in the mainsail and, um, and, a, and a stay sail. And as soon as we finish this chat, I'm going to go and change the stay sail out for a storm jib. The, the wind and the sea have just up in the last few minutes and I'm concerned that I'm carrying too much sail for uh, for the rig that I have. Yeah, yeah. And what's your boat speed now, do you reckon? Uh, somewhere between three and a half and four and a half knots. Yeah, okay. And and what about sea state and the wind strength? Um, wind's picked up from about 15 to 18. It's now closer to probably 20, 22. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Um, uh, the sea is, is horrible. It, it really is. It's short, sharp, steep and quite unforgiving and you know the wind is not as as is normally the situation the wind's not the problem but um it's creating a, a situation where i can fall off waves pretty easily and it sort of been part all sorts of shock loading which i definitely don't want to do yeah yeah and so everything else on board's okay except for the water at the moment did you uh did you i'm assuming that's still correct everything's good on board yeah, everything's fine. Other than uh, you know, other than not having a full stay, it's uh, yeah, <laughs> fine. Yeah, yep, too true. Did you manage to test the desalinator? No, I haven't. Um, I I thought I'd wait until I'm. I've got a, a couple of liters left. Um, I don't want to get into start something that I then have to continue every day without actually needing it. So yeah. give it a few days. I'll, then I'll give that a test. Okay, because you you can actually once it's once you've got it going, you can leave it for a couple of days, you know. But certainly every other day, you'd, it's best to probably keep pumping water through, because the issue is if you get down to two liters of water, and then it decides not to work, your options are pretty limited, you know. Well, my options are exactly limited at the moment, whether it works or not. Um, there's there's no uh, port of refuge in front of me. And uh, to turn and run, um, I'll end up back in Portugal. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you, I suppose you'll still be facing the situation if you if you run out of water. <laughs> it's not a good thing when you're on the boat, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's your call there's, on that. There's always liquid. Um, I've discovered that uh, the juice from a tin of mung bean sprouts is very nutritious and quite tasty. So for the juice from um, virtually all the tins of vegetables that I have left over, they um, they can actually make up sort of half a litre of liquid a day if necessary. 
Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's good to hear. I was, we were all thinking a bit, uh, thinking, oh, jeepers, you know. Uh, so that's good to hear. I, I didn't realise you had some of that as well. So it uh, sounds like you're on top of it. Yeah, it's, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that at the moment. Um, and, I'm, you know, it's so dim and cold that I'm, I'm certainly not uh, perspiring, so I'm not taking out any additional liquid and, and my one cup of tea in the morning and then a couple of... Uh, you know, the juice from the, the vegetables and things is quite adequate. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, okay. I'm happy about that. <laughs> so that's cool. And so how do you feel physically? Like, it's all a bit uh, challenging at the moment, but you're feeling okay? Uh, physically, I'm absolutely fine. Uh, couldn't be better. I've never had this much rest in my life before. But, <laughs> uh, you know, mentally it's, it's, it's uh, quite a a thing, you know, you're running, instantly running through what what if scenarios, um, you know, and then just the feeling of, of helplessness, just not being able to, to sail the course I want to, and having to just sail pretty much further away from the finish line every day, which is, um, sort of gets you a bit. Yeah, yeah, I, can, I, I can't quite imagine, but I know exactly what you're talking about. You can't change the weather, and the weather's just a little bit strange at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're all feeling for you, that's for sure. You know, anyway, yeah, what do you say? Nothing. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah. There's nothing I can do with this, so I can just uh, work around what it is, and nobody forced me to be in this situation. I, this was a voluntary thing, so I was just deal with what I got here. Yeah, exactly. The, the further, you know, every bit you can climb north is going to make it a bit better later. But you're right, the wind is uh, is swinging to sort of straight out of the bay by the time you get up there and head that way. So it's just crazy. Uh, anyway, not, not the type of day to buy a lottery ticket. Uh, probably not, no. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Yep, okay. So uh, anyway, the, the uh, wind pilot's okay and uh, all your systems and everything ticking over? Uh, yeah, all that stuff's fine. It's been incredibly overcast. Uh, uh, the sun has come out now for the first time in three days. So yesterday I got a position off a, off a passing ship, but today I haven't been able to take a site and establish a position, so it's all by dead reckoning at the moment. Yeah, okay. And also, that doesn't help charge batteries when you're not going too fast. The, the weapon C isn't that effective. Yeah, 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 too true. So uh, it's good to see you saw a ship. That's interesting. So uh, might have, you'd seen many ships, so that was just the first one for a while? Oh, it was the first one in about probably four or five days. Yeah, 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 okay, that's cool. All right, so uh, well, anyway, it's good to chat. You know, we can you can call any time, so uh, maybe give us a call every few days. You don't need to wait for the schedule here. People are always interested in what's going on, so... Uh, um, yeah, just ring us whenever you feel like it, eh? I will do. Um, yeah. You know, and it, to say if there's any sort of um, weather info you feel that you can pass on my way, please do so. Even if it's not what I want to hear, it's nice to know what to expect. Yeah, well, that's a good idea to, you know, as, we, as it's been happening, you know, just ring us every couple of days. Because there's no huge high pressure systems or low pressure system changes and this, that, and the other, it's a weather gradient and nothing's changed from yesterday or the day before. <laughs> it's going to be all from the wrong direction for the next five or six days, right? So, uh, but there's no surprises. There's no real heavy weather in it. It's, it's pretty much as we discussed before. But if I see anything that looks like a change, it'll have to be good news, and I'll, uh, I'll absolutely uh, send you a message straight away. Uh, even if it's bad news, it's better that I know in, in advance. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, obviously, I just my biggest uh, thing is not knowing how hard I can push. At yeah, the yeah. And the only way I'm going to find out is when I push too hard, and uh, it's 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 very difficult to balance to run on that fine line. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's pretty much the same, you know, for the next 24, 48 hours anyway. Uh, but at least we know it's backed off. You know, it's a little bit less wind, but the sea state sounds tricky. Uh, sorry, you say that last bit again. I just say, yeah, there's there's no surprise for the next couple of days, but at least the wind has backed off from what it was, uh, you know, the day before, you know. Yeah, it, it is a little more manageable, but um, yeah. 
that's again it's just the sea state that's a bugger at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's uh, good to hear. You've got some more fluids, though. That that's uh, encouraging. So uh, we're happy about that. And uh, yeah, we'll just just ring us whenever you feel like it, as per usual. Yep, we'll do. All right. Stay good. There is a yeah. lot a lot of people feeling for you right now. <laughs> They're seeing what you're going through, so you're not really alone, if you know what I mean. There's people just saying, what the heck? <laughs> Poor Jeremy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It looks so bad on the, on the books, doesn't it? You know, um, I, with all my planning and scenarios, I should have been in two or three days ago, but yeah, I yeah. Really just didn't. This northeasterly, it just seems that the wind is constantly blowing me away from the finish line, but... Yeah, that's a good that's a good way of putting it because that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, hang in there, and we look forward to seeing you soon, eh? Indeed. All right. Good to chat. Yeah. Call us anytime. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. See you later. Bye bye.